Hello and welcome to a new episode. So today I'm going to do something that I've been dreading to do for quite some time now. I knew it was coming, but I really didn't want to do it. But ever since the last time I pulled the bugger up, I knew it was inevitable to do again. I'm going to replace our borehole pump. Yeah. So, this summer we were connecting the water and eventually we had some issues with the water. So I pulled up the borehole pump. The pump and all 85 meters of tube and it was heavy, it was very heavy. And I did it all by myself with my hands. And, but at that time it was still functioning. So I lowered it back down. But I kind of knew that it wasn't that great anymore. So yeah, here we are. Today, we came back from whatever what we were doing at around one-ish. And we wanted to use the water in the house. No water. I went to the pump house. Pump was pumping, but no pressure. <sighs> well, there was a little bit of pressure, but it just couldn't build the pressure up for it to automatically turn off anymore. So it's time to replace it. We bought a new pump. We just did it at a local store. Cost quite a lot. A pump like this, I'll tell you. Uh, it was 600 euros for the pump itself only. My goodness, but hey, if it functions for the next 10, 15 years, I'll be glad and it's an investment worth making. So that's not really the big problem. The big problem is, yes, getting that bugger out of there. So um, I'm going to try to do something differently so I don't have to do everything with my hands. Because beside it being a quite a lot of work and very heavy, I also injured my elbow and a finger of mine, so I'm not in the most perfect shape to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect a rope to the existing rope, tie it to the core and see if we can pull it out. All right, let's get started. So I have these frames. Let's see if we can make some kind of system where it functions as a lever. So that will pull out the rope and then go this way to the car. And there, there's the road so I can park the car there. Oh dear. I really hope this is gonna work. All right, so I've MacGyvered a system. Let me show you what I've done. So at the pump, we have this rope that's going all the way down into the tube to the actual pump. So that if you pull, you pull on the rope instead of on the tubing. Um, so that rope goes this way over this kind of system. So I hope this will stay in place. And then the rope goes all the way here. Up here to this tree. And then from that tree it goes down to the core. I'm not that confident that this is going to work. But hey, we'll give it a go and see if it works. So, Sylvia is going to drive the car, slow and steady. 
<laughs> and I'll be guiding her from where the pump is. That's not going well until now. It's kind of stuck somewhere, but I'm not sure where. Tried pulling on the tube, then budge. The rope is just uh, getting pulled off. I don't know. <sighs> sure what's going on. I knew it was a lot of work and it was hard work pulling that thing out this summer but now it's just crazy how the force that we have to put into it to move it even a little bit. I'm really not sure what's going on. Maybe it's stuck somewhere. We even broke one of the ropes we tied down to this tree to give some balance, balance force but it just snapped in half. <sighs> this is not going as planned. I knew this would be hard work. Time to get another plan together. So we tried pulling the tube and it looks like it's budging. So let's see if we can just force it up by hand. Oh dear, luckily I have my super wife with me. Let's see if we can do this together. I don't know how I did this the last time on my own with a little bit of help the few last minutes because this was so heavy. Car didn't work out. Manual labor! Strong! <laughs> <laughs> we got it! All right, now let's get everything together before we run out of daylight. All right, so here we have our new bugger. Let's see if we can get this thing in. And of course, just like last time, we didn't really bother where, which pipe, electrical cable, rope went. So everything's probably tangled up again. So first we'll have to sort that out again. So everything's straight and everything goes in the right way. So yeah, let's do that first. All right, so we've got the tubes untangled, the electrical cable untangled and the rope untangled. Now I'm trying to connect the new pump to the existing pipe, the electronics. Just follow the colors, right? Yellow, yellow, blue, blue, blah, brown, brown, black, black. Should be good. And then I hope I can get this water tight. I've got a couple of seals that are specially made for these. So a seal for every cable by itself. 
and then a big seal for all the cables at once. That's this one. Let's see if I can get this going. Oh yeah, and uh, we're kind of running out of daylight. But hey, never a dull moment. It's now 6.30, it's dark, dark, yeah, you probably enjoyed a nice sunset on the time lapse while we were working, probably couldn't really see much of the work, but the work's done, or at least the work on top of the ground is done. So before I lower the pump into the tube again. I thought I'll just turn it on to see if it turns on. <laughs> so we've got the pump laying here. We've connected the electrical system again. We've connected the rope again. We've connected the electrical wire to the tube every 15 or 20 meters. So that's done. We installed a new condenser. So now it's time to flip the switch and see what happens. Switch one. Turning on the breaker. Switch two. Turning on the pump. I hear noises. So that's working. And now we need to lower the bump back into the hole. In the darkness. Oh dear. All right, I got a bit of lighting so I can see a bit. Now let's get this bump back into its hole. Yeah! The pipe's back in its hole. Now I just have to make the last water connections and give it a go. And with all of our efforts, we finally got everything working late in the evening. But unfortunately, the pump shut off somewhere in the night. So we screwed up twice. First one, apparently I didn't make the connection of the electrical wires near the pump water tight enough. So water seeped through and after a couple of hours of working the pump broke down. Or at least there was a shortage in the circuit which meant water was seeping through. So, this morning we pulled out the pump again. And what we also noticed when we pulled out the pump was that there was water coming out of the tube in locations where there shouldn't be any water coming out of the tube. Which means somewhere in between the beginning and the end of the tube, right in the side. So, um, this has occurred because we've weakened the pipe by letting the pump rest while we were resting. It was resting on the tube, which meant the tube bent and made a weak point. So that weak point blew. And that's probably the problem why we don't have sufficient pressure at the moment. So we bought a new tube, and we bought a new underwater connection. Now we'll try again, and hopefully we'll get it done.
So it's uh, four o'clock, day two, and I think we're ready. Ready to lower it down again. We had some help from the company where we bought the materials. Luckily, Hi. they are also our neighbor, like two minutes drive from here. So he helped us get the electrical connection correctly. Hi. So I hope he knew what he was doing. He didn't really do a, a lot of things different than I did, but hey, who am I to say? Maybe he has magic fingers, so we hope the connection is watertight now. So we have a watertight electrical connection. We have new tubing. And extra help. Extra help. <laughs> Ready? All right, let's lower this thing down again. <laughs> <laughs> the pumps in, it started to rain, so hopefully the gods are saying to us Rain is good, water is good, pump is good. So let's try it out. Turn on the main breaker. Turn on the pump. It's getting, yeah. It's going. And it's stopping pretty quickly, so we might just pump up the water pressure and see if it works then as well. Oh, please. Okay, I've adjusted the system to stop the pump at a higher water pressure so that we have more water pressure in the house. It, just, it should be around 3.5 to 4 bar to work correctly. So I'm um, Adjust it a little bit. Let's see what happens now. Turn it on. Okay. Now I have to release some pressure in order to let it start, and it starts all right. It's pumping. Pumping. What kind of? And it stopped. Good shot! Yes! It's working again! Well, that was a hell of a job. Oh dear. If I can give you any advice on what to do when you change your borehole pump, be sure you have a watertight connection for the electrics and once you're at it, change the tube as well. Because if you're spending six, seven hundred dollars on a new pump, you might as well spend the extra hundred dollars for an extra new tube. In that way, you're sure that your tube will be okay for the upcoming years and you don't have a screw up like us with just a silly <laughs> hole in the pipeline. All right, guys, Webinar. thanks for watching. Webinar. See you in the next video. <laughs> Ciao.